What's up everyone? So just got done with that deadlift workout. Worked up to 672 by 8, which is a rep PR. The closest I've done to that is 675 for 7. And that was with like regular gym plates, so it's definitely would be easier weight wise than pulling with um calibrated plates so um the number itself is good 672 for eight it equates to somewhere around like an 830 inch deadlift so that by itself is good i wasn't happy with the technique um and reps on conventional dead always gets hard for me because it's hard enough for me just position wise to get into the right position on conventional deadlifts just because i have very hard i have very tight hips um and I was actually, I was talking to Larry about this earlier, how most people are either going to be good at squatting or good at deadlifting. It's hard to be someone that's very good at positioning on both. Um, so for me with squats, it's like I put the bar on my back, I drop down, it looks very smooth. That's obviously, obviously I'm a squatter. I'm someone who's more naturally can just squat. Deadlifts come very hard for me just because my hips, as I said, are very tight. So it's hard to actually start a conventional deadlift for me with a neutral pelvis. Obviously, you gotta work on it, such as life. I mean, I'm not complaining, but um, so I really wasn't happy with the technique. I really want to be able to start from much more neutral pelvis on the conventionals, but um, I am happy with the number that I will say. Obviously, I have to keep working on technique and on deadlifts. Obviously, on anything where your positioning isn't that good to begin with, as you do more reps, it's only gonna get harder. But um, overall, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm definitely getting stronger. I think I'm stronger than I've ever been, which is good. Right now, my body weight's been sitting around like 255 to 260-ish. I don't really want to get over 260 because it starts just being a mess on my back. Um, I start, usually if I'm over 260, I'm retaining a lot of water, which is going to wreak havoc on my back, on like my shins, my calves. So this is a good weight for me. If I could sit around this weight for most of meat prep, that'll be a good thing. Um, but overall, I think training's going well. I feel good, I feel healthier than usual. My body feels better than it did last training cycle when I was around this weight. So that's definitely a good indicator. And um, that's it. See you guys next week.